Look what I got. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my top 10 favorite Russian piping tips. My name is Lori and you are watching The Icing Artist. Before we get into the video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it always super helps the video. I have played around with so many different Russian piping tips, but my favorite Russian piping tips are those flower Russian piping tips. And I have a set that came with 50 different piping tips and I have played around with just about all of them now. So I think the final question is, which ones are in my opinion the best Russian piping tips? Well, I am going to show you. If you guys don't know what Russian piping tips are, they're basically like one giant piping tip that pipes a perfect flower on top of cupcakes. All of them are super, super similar, but there are little differences between them that help them make different kind of looking flowers. To get started, I always ice the top of my cupcakes with a little bit of buttercream icing. This helps my icing from my piping tip stick to the cupcake. They are very large piping tips, so you're gonna need to cut a pretty large hole in the top of your piping bag. And it is officially springtime. It is beautiful outside, so we are gonna do some beautiful spring colors. Just kind of folded my piping bag around my hand and then scooped in all of my icing into my bag. We're gonna start off with the simplest piping tip. So this one isn't too intricate. It's basically like an eight petal flower. And when you pipe it, it just is this simple little delicate flower. And the Russian piping tip sets don't come with a leaf tip, but I bought a giant leaf tip and I'm just gonna pipe little baby leaves going all the way around the cupcake so it looks more like a garden. Most of the piping tips have centers in them, but this one doesn't. So I'm gonna pipe a little white center into each one of the dots. If you guys have not subscribed to this channel, please hit that big red button down below and subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you guys know when I put up new videos. Now I've been playing around with these for quite some time now so I have gotten used to the piping technique but I've been getting some comments down below of you guys struggling with not knowing how much pressure to add or the flowers aren't turning out right so I'm gonna describe to you exactly what the piping technique is. So when I'm piping them I never hover and then just pipe and expect it to stick. I always push down onto my surface and then pull up because you have to make sure that the icing is actually stuck to the cupcake otherwise it just kind of flops over and looks weird. But you can't just like squeeze out and not pull up and expect it to make a flower because then it just kind of makes an awkward looking blob. You want to touch your tip to the surface so that way the flower is stuck and then pull up, stop pressure and then release. But if you squeeze too much and keep pulling up, you're going to make a very giant tall flower. And if you pull up too quickly, you end up with like a really stumpy flower. So you're looking for that middle ground. Ice and consistency is so ridiculously important with Russian piping tips, it took me so long to figure out the perfect consistency. Basically, if your icing is too stiff, which means you have too much icing sugar in it, when you pipe it, the petals are gonna look really ripped, like you're, it's gonna have these really rough edges. So if you want a softer consistency, you just wanna add a bit of water to your icing, mix that up, and you're good to go. But if you add too much water when you pipe it, you're gonna end up with that blob looking thing no matter what you do because it's too soft to hold the shape of the flower. So if your icing is too soft, you just wanna do the reverse. You add some icing sugar into your icing, mix that up, and that's gonna stiffen it back up again. You're looking for it to hold its shape and look really silky without having those ripped edges, and that is the perfect consistency. Now this is just what works for me. I mean, I like this technique, it's worked really well, but you have to play around with it and see if it works well for you too. Back to the fun stuff of making the rest of the cupcakes. Now this next tip looks super intricate, especially compared to the first one we did. It has all these lines going all the way around the outside and then kind of goes another row on the inside. And again, just using that same technique, making sure I'm touching to my cupcakes and then pulling up off of it. I love how pointed all of the little petals are. I think they look really beautiful and super intricate, but still simple. The next one has all these petals going all the way around the outside, but on the inside this time it has all these little holes. I usually do one in the center and then go all the way around. And see, you notice sometimes if you don't push down, because if not, you're gonna end up like this. Just take your spatula, scrape it off there, and pipe another flower. Nobody will know. Unless you make a video about it and post it on YouTube for the world to see, and then everybody knows. I have no secrets anymore. The next one is probably one of my all-time favorite tips. It is the rose piping tip. I don't know why I love this one so much. I just think it looks so delicate and intricate and pretty. And I think this one looks most similar to the flower that it's trying to replicate. Love, love, love the way it comes out. The next one only has one petal on it and it is a big petal. So for this kind of tip, I always start in the center and pipe three little petals going inwards and then stagger my petals going on an outer row. And you can even add an extra row if you want after that. 
I love this type of tip for making a giant flower. Like if you were gonna make a big cupcake bouquet of flowers, this is the type of one that will look perfect for it. These flowers look beautiful just as this with one color, but my favorite thing to do with Russian piping tips is to mix up the colors because I think that they're so much more pretty like that. So for this one, I'm gonna switch it up on the outside of my piping bag, I'm gonna add my dark pink and then on the inside, add yellow. So I mean, when you pipe it, it has these two-tone gorgeous colors. And really, you always just wanna make sure that you're piping enough until both colors come through perfectly and you're good to go. This next tip has a lot of petals kind of overlapping. So for this one, I thought that I would mix blue and purple in the same bag and then just kind of marble it with my hands back and forth. So that way it becomes as this almost two-tone effect. Instead of being on the outside, on the inside, it's just this gorgeous marble flower. Doing two colors is definitely more work, but a little bit of work goes a long way because I think they look so much better. Now next up, we're gonna make another really large flower. This one, I wanted to have one color on the outside, another color on the inside, but because of how the tip is, I'm just gonna do one half of the bag with dark pink and the other half of the bag with light pink. That way, when I pipe this big flower, all the petals on the inside are gonna have that light pink, on the outside is gonna have that dark pink. And it's the same technique that I did with the last big piping tip. You're just gonna pipe three times going along the inside, just kinda of cup them in together, and then go around again. Now you can stop there and call it a gorgeous flower. It's kinda of like a peony and it's beautiful, but for me, I want this flower to be very full. So run around one more time. I am obsessed with this, my favorite piping tips. I wanna know in the comments down below which ones are your favorite and do you guys wanna see more of these Russian piping tips or do you wanna see me attempt other different cake decorating tools? Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to come back here again next week so we can make something else in a cake. If you guys wanna see more piping tip videos, I will leave links over here and over here. Just go check them out.